Oh, how'd you solve it? Did you use your superlative powers of observation, or did basic forensics crack this particular case open? You sure talk funny. Actually, it was a combination of the two. After a careful examination of the crime scene, we decided the best way to explain it is in a song. Oh, no, not again. If all of you are wondering what I found in all my wandering, here's a clue for you. I knew just what to do. And, uh, me too. If a crime has been committed, which makes you rather curious, while culprits and solutions lurk elusive and impervious, and fancy words bewilder you and make you feel ridiculous, the crime will not be solved until you grab the phone and call on me. Just call 1-800-SHERLUCK. Operators are standing by. We're so thorough in our searching as we sift and sort and sleuth for clues. Faculty for skirting any felons off deceptive bruise. What? Uh, we never leave the job except to snack and maybe take us news. Offenders best surrender cause eventually they're sure to lose. It's all probability, really. You see, given that logic and deduction are on our side, a criminal stands a highly diminished chance of succeeding in his misdeed. Criminals? What are they thinking? <laughs> So if a criminal commits a crime who's hiding in his secret lair He thinks the crime is perfect, but of certain facts he's unaware He's left a print and not just smudge a lock of hair upon the stair We'll find a clue and track him down and trap him in a secret lair It seems they're always in their secret lair The lesson here for all to see is really rather obvious When Sherlock Holmes is on a case It's sure to be melodious! <laughs> In the course of litigation, our opposers please are tenuous. Following your fancy talk is getting rather strenuous. The crime will not be solved until you grab the phone, wait for the tone and call.